what exactly is Scratch? Hello there, friends. This is Midas from Kitty Drawing, and I am here with a Scratch tutorial. Uh, this right here is my Scratch programming software. We created the programming language Scratch to as a way to introduce young kids into the world of programming, right? And it's known as a block-based programming language, and that's pretty much because you don't, you're not. Uh, affected or you're not disturbed with the technicalities of having to type having to type keywords and and stuff like that all you have to do is just stack blocks together right and it's really fun it's a really exciting app to use especially when you are someone who likes to draw or write stories or make games or play games or make animations really cool stuff with scratch so there's two versions to Scratch, right? Right here, I have the, um, this is the offline version. It is pretty much the same as the online version. Slight difference is that the online version gets to use it on the internet and you know, your stuff is saved. Every, your project are going to be saved on the internet. And you also have access to your community of other programmers where you can edit stuff and others can, others can get to see uh your work okay so that's that's the good part about it however i still recommend this because this one you don't need to be disturbed with the internet from you're away from distractions and it's very very helpful especially if you don't have um access to internet so you could if you are watching this video offline you could just get this video downloaded and if you want to download this video the download link is going to be dropped right below this video okay so let's get into it right so this is my interface just so you know, it is the same thing. Just like I said, it's the same thing with the one online. So if you understand this one, you can use the online version the same way. So first of all, let's move to this. There's three parts. You have three parts to this, right? The first part we want to talk about is the script area, which is this whole part, okay? And the second part is the stage area, which is where, uh, which is where our, um, our sprite is. This character is known as the sprite. So our sprite is, and then this is the sprite area where the sprite is, the all, all the sprites or characters that we use are kept. So one step at a time. Uh, let's talk about the sprite area here. Now the sprite area is where you get to see all the characters that you are using in the game or whatever, or whatever project you're working on, maybe an animation or a story. Okay. So. The, right here, I already have a character. This is the default character. It's a cat, so it's known as Sprite 1. However, this is not the only character you have access to. Uh, there are lots of other characters you can find in the Sprite library over here. You could click on this and then you have lots of other Sprites, animals, items, houses, different characters that you could use. And if they, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is a cool part. This is a cool part. And for, and for those of you who love animation, right? You can just put your mouse on. This is the cat. This is what the cat can do, right? You can animate. Uh, watch this. This is a beer walking. So these are costumes. We'll get to that in a bit. These are costumes that make it look like this is actually working. And you can use that to make animations. A lot of them actually have um, um, things like that, right? And look at this one too. Okay. So uh, now, what if, what if, you don't like any of the sprites or the project you're working on doesn't really have a certain sprite that fits it. Well, what you could do then is you could just bring your mouse over here that you have this paint icon. If you click on this, it automatically creates another a blank, um, a black, uh, uh, what do I call it? Blank canvas for you here to paint your own sprite. And then once you start painting it, you start seeing the sprite come to life right here. And you can even create more costumes. I'll get to that, like I said. So now also just as we have, we can go back to the code section from here, right here. So just as we have Sprite, we also have the background, right? And this here, you can get to choose any background you want. And in a similar way, you could decide to paint yours or even upload. Same goes for the, um, same goes for the Sprites. So. That's really, really interesting to know. 
Now let's move over to the script section. Now what is the script section? The script section is where every work really is done. This is, is this part where you see all the blocks and all the different scripts. Now, what are blocks and what are scripts? And why am I making them sound like they're different or two big deals? These right here are blocks, right? And the blocks are actually kept in some kind of different sections here. Yeah? You have motion here and everything here, everything inside the motion section has to do with every block. Not this. Every block inside the motion section here has to do with the movements of the sprite. Now, how do you know what sprite is working for? Let's assume you had like two other sprites here. Now, this is two sprites, right? And you could switch between this one and this one like this. And then, now, this is how you know which sprite you're really working on, right? Notice right here, there is... The character you're working on is going to show this part of the script area, right? So if I click on this, changes right here. I click on this one, changes right here. So this is a quick way to know that you're not making a mistake when you're building something on a certain sprite. Okay, now back to this blocks. So, so these are blocks. And if I click on the look section, this pretty much talks about all different things you can see, right? All different things you can see. Uh, sound of course things we can hear events when things happen in scratch control pretty much talks about the behavior of everything in the behavior of every um the character you're working on right so if i want to just add i want to be able to control the behavior and manage it properly sensing is if you want the sensing is where you start making them deal with other things where you want this the sprites to interact with other things or you want other things to affect the behavior of the sprite you go to the uh you go to sensing and then there's operators that have some kind of mathematical stuff where you get to understand it and then there's variables and then there's my blocks in case you want to create your own block so we'll get to see all of that as we go on okay so basically now you already understand that all these things here are the blocks okay all these are the blocks. Now, what are the scripts, right? Well, when you bring out a block into this section, the block becomes active. And right there, the block becomes a script, right? So when you brought out your blocks, and then this is a block. Now, obviously, you can tell that this block I just brought out right here belongs to this one, okay? This sprite here. Now, the way I have this sprite right here, uh... If I click on this one was, you find out that this sprite kind of takes a step. Did you notice? I'll do it again. Did you see that? Look at this sprite here. If I click on this, now this is the script that's been written for this particular sprite. And that's why it's working, but it's not affecting her. Now, what if you wanted to work on her? Or um, ballerina, that's the name of the sprite, ballerina. I click on, you have to just switch over to ballerina right here. I click on ballerina. Then she also has our own scripts that you have to write for her, right? So I bring up ballerina right here to uh, the block for ballerina right here, and the ballerina can also move. So um, you say I wanted to delete the ballerina for now, and I'm not using her. I just click on this delete button, delete icon right by the sprite, and it's gone. Okay, so now we understand how it works, right? Now. Also, a little bit more to this um, sprite, to this script section here. You can stack a couple of blocks together. For example, this is my um, this is my sprite, right? And if I click here, it keeps on going. But that's not fun. Now, let's do something really simple, easy here. This is not fun. So, because I let's say I wanted it to keep on going. That is me trying to manage the behavior of the sprites, right? So, I'll just bring out control here i make this one move forever forever from control if i click on forever it goes on and then it keeps on going i mean it's trying to go on forever and that means if i didn't have a barrier here it's probably gonna just pop out of my screen and just keep on running i don't want that to happen well now we have that it keeps on going now at the movements in the motion um section you can also find a block right below here you can just click on this empty area and scroll up or you can use your 
just scroll down here. You see, I have this if on edge bounce block. I could just bring it out right here and place this one here. So now look at that. Now it's coming back on its own. And now it's coming back on its own. All right. So now that I've reached, now that I have that happening. Now, what if uh, to make it work properly, especially when you have all of that sprites around, a good way to make it work or activate it is to go to the event section and have this when green flag clicked. Just place it on top of it. It's meant to be on top. So uh, let me increase this one so you get to see all the blocks properly. Uh, so now if you click on, if I click on this right here, it starts. And if I click on this, it stops. And if I click on this again, it starts, it stops. So now we have created a script that we have script. Our script here comprises of four blocks. One, two, three, and four, right? So these is the script. This is the, the or these are the scripts rather. And these are blocks, okay? So we have blocks in our scripts too. And you understand that these are sprites. Now, if you want to switch over to a part where you want to edit this um this sprite or the costume so to speak click on costume right here i see that you have different costumes you can pretty much do anything to this sprite right i can change it now i can just click on this one to return back here so a lot of this technicalities or this technical part i'm going to talk about in another video of course uh now you have a an introductory video to scratch all right so, um, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Uh, I would love to see you in the next video where I start working on projects that you can make with Scratch.